and the masters of the universe. I am Adam, Prince of Eternia and defender of the secrets of Castle Grayskull. This is Cringer, my fearless friend. Fabulous secret powers were revealed to me the day I held aloft my magic sword and said, By the power of Grayskull! became the mighty battle cat and I became He-Man, the most powerful man in the universe. Only three others share this secret. Our friends, the Sorceress, Man at Arms, and Orko. Together we defend Castle Grayskull from the evil forces of Skeletor. should be back at the palace in time for breakfast, Adam. Good thing, too. I'm so hungry, my stomach's grumbling. That isn't grumbling that much. The Wind Raider's losing power. Are we out of fuel? Well, we've got plenty. We're just losing power and the engines have stopped. We're falling. I'd better handle this as He-Man. By the power of Grayskull! <laughs> yourself, man-at-arms. Man-at-arms, drop the cable from the Wind Raider. Here I go. The Wind Raider feels like it weighs a ton. <laughs> then again, it does weigh a ton. Yeah, that was quick thinking, He-Man, using the grappling cable to break our fall. Are you all right? Maybe I'm a little out of shape. It took all my strength to catch the Wind Raider. <laughs> With your strength, it should have been easy. I know. It doesn't make sense. And neither does the Wind Raider's engine stopping. What do you suppose caused it? I'll have to get it back to the palace and pull it apart to find out. E-Man, that tree, it was perfectly healthy when we left this morning. No, it's completely withered. It's falling toward the council chamber. And the room is filled with people. Good work, He-Man. How's your strength holding up? I feel weaker than ever. Well, let's get the Wind Raider into the lab and see if anything's wrong with it. I don't think you will find anything wrong with it. I think there's something very strange going on here. Whew. That thing's getting heavier and heavier. Maybe I should become Prince Adam again. No. No, oh, if something really is wrong, your powers may be needed. Hey! Man at arms, you got a cure for fizzled magic? Well, I don't think there's any known cure for your magic, Orko. No, I'm serious. I'm, oh, I'm weak and I, I can't get anything to work. Look. Magic powers far and near. Make this beaker disappear. <sighs> See what I mean? Took all my strength just to do that. Oh, and that didn't even do anything. And it isn't just me. It seems to be happening to everyone in the palace. Let's check out the Wind Raider. Oh. If 
find anything wrong? It's in perfect working order. The fuel's fine, yet the engines won't even turn over. And I'm... I'm getting weaker. Oh. Everybody's growing weaker. And the, the trees are withering, and, and the machines won't run. It, it just doesn't add up. What's the missing element? I, th I think I've got it. Why isn't the gas catching fire? Well, there can only be one answer. It takes two things to create a fire. Fuel, such as the gas, and oxygen. Without oxygen, no fuel can burn. Somehow, the amount of oxygen in the air of Eternia is being lowered. I understand that, man-at-arms, but why would that make us weak? Because human beings use oxygen to burn the fuel we eat and drink, just as machines do. That's why we must breathe. But how and why could this be happening? If you don't know, there's, there's only one other person in all Eternia who might know. The sorceress. I'd better find her before it's too late. Too bad I couldn't have taken one of the vehicles, but none of them are working. <laughs> uh, I'm almost too weak to run. All the trees in the evergreen forest seem to be withering. I'd, I'd better hurry. All this exertion is making me weaker with each step. I've got to make it to Grayskull. I've got to castle Grayskull. But what the devil, the jawbridge is, it's wide open. The castle's unprotected. Hey, man, I would have sent for you, but I could not. My powers grow weaker by the minute. Man-at-Arms says that the oxygen content of Eternia's air is lowering. That's what's weakening all of us. Do you have any idea what might be causing it? Perhaps. Did you notice anything strange on your journey here? Yes, the evergreen forest is withering. Ah, then I may have the answer. Deep in the heart of the Mystic Mountains, lies the Sea of Eternity. It feeds a river which supplies the Vine Jungle and the Evergreen Forest with water. These two great forces, in turn, supply Eternia's air with oxygen. Wait a minute, how do plants provide oxygen? You know that all animals breathe in oxygen and breathe out carbon dioxide. Yes. Well, all plants take in carbon dioxide and give off oxygen. That is why plants and animals need each other to survive. Someone or something must be cutting off the water supply to the forest at its source, at the Sea of Eternity. You, He-Man, must go and set things right. The whole planet is in terrible danger. So, that's what she told me. Well, I'm sure she's right. But how will I get to the Sea of Eternity? I had to practically drag myself to the palace from Castle Grayskull. Wait, I have an idea. Here, breathe this in. Oh, I feel better. <sighs> My strength's back. Man at arms, what is this? It's a new underwater breathing device I've been working on. It's the only one I've made. You must make more and get them to the rest of the people. Oh, there's not enough oxygen left to put in the others. No, you're our only hope, He-Man. Take the oxygen and head for the Mystic Mountains. Someone must be cutting off the water supply to the forests. And I'll bet that someone is Skeletor. With the rest of us weakened, he could take over the whole planet with no resistance. But he wasn't counting on this. A warning, He-Man. Guard that canister above all else. Without it, you'll be powerless against Skeletor. And use it sparingly, as if it were water in the desert. Once the oxygen in that canister runs out, there won't be any more. I understand. Go. All of Eternia is counting on you. The Mystic Mountains. Perhaps this tunnel will lead through to the Sea of Eternity. Uh-oh. Now which way do I go? Somehow, I've got the terrible feeling I'm lost. An intruder! I 
don't know what you are doing here, but this is as far as you go. Who is this strange intruder? How ugly he looks! He has no shell! Disgusting! We thought he might have something to do with the disaster that threatens our hive. What disaster are you referring to? Our race hatches new eggs only once every 50 years, and it is time for the new brood to be born. But our eggs do not glow as they should. It's as though all of the life has been drained out of them. If they do not hatch, our race is doomed. Come, strange sorcerer, out with it! What manner of spell have you cast on us? I'm no sorcerer. My name is He-Man. I am on a journey to stop this danger which threatens your hive and the whole planet. Lies! The ugly one seeks to deceive us! My people are suffering as you are. And why should we believe the word of someone as hideous as you? No, Shaman. Let us not judge this one by his strange looks. No doubt we look strange to him. I am Garth. What do you intend to do? I must find the Sea of Eternity. I believe someone is draining it and taking away the planet's oxygen in the process. I intend to stop whoever is doing this. I believe you. I will help you. No, Garth! Shaman, it's our only hope. A tremor! The eggs will be crushed! Should hold up the ceiling for now. You... you saved our hive! I knew I was right about you, friend. And you are truly loyal, Garth, putting yourself in danger to save the eggs. Now, let us hurry to the Sea of Eternity, as friends! What's the point of us standing guard for Skeletor, anyway? <laughs> By now, everyone else on the planet must be too weak to move. <laughs> Good thing we've got these canisters of oxygen to give us strength. Yeah, the air's so thin that nothing could get past us now. We hardly ever need these paralyzer rays. Speaking of which... <laughs> I'm starting to feel weaker. Time for some more oxygen. Wait a minute. I thought I saw something. A monster! Stay back or you'll get this. I'll take that if you don't mind. He-Man! Oh no! My strength is gone! You can't speak up on me! I can see anywhere! No! You won't succeed, He-Man. Skeletor will stop you. They're too weak to cause us any more trouble. All the more reason for us to hurry. Imagine how weak the rest of the planet must be by now. Strange how those two thought I was a monster when they themselves look so strange to me. It just goes to show you shouldn't be fooled by appearances. After all, your friend Shaman thought I was pretty ugly. Listen, do you hear that? Come on. Water from the Sea of Eternia being pumped into that pit. We must hurry. The 
The river which feeds the evergreen forest has been dammed up. And the sea of eternity has almost no water in it. There's the answer. Just as I thought. <laughs> Soon the sea of eternity will be completely drained. Eternia's oxygen supply will be cut off. Skeletor. He is the one who is endangering my people's unhatched eggs? Yes, and the rest of the planet as well. We must be careful. He's crafty and very dangerous. I am not afraid. Let's go stop him. Nothing will stand in the way of my ruling Eternia. I'm ruling over Castle Grayskull at last. Wrong again, Skeletor. He man so you made it past my henchmen. No matter. Within minutes, my pumping machine will have completely drained the Sea of Eternity's waters. Then nothing will stop me. That's what you think. <laughs> Is this the only ally you could find to fight against me? A hideous insect? A crawling, ugly bug? He may look ugly, but he's got more heart, courage, and beauty inside him than you could ever hope to have, Skeletor. Ah, enough of this. You must be maintaining your strength the same way I am. My attractor beam will take care of that. Oh, no! Uh. Easy, He-Man. Don't overexert yourself. It'll only weaken you more quickly. <laughs> uh. I'm, w I'm weak. That's it, Emen. Kneel before your new master. If I could somehow clog up that pump. That's it, Emen. Crawl to me. Yes, that's all you'll ever do from now on. You, insect, what are you doing? Uh, a fool? What does he think he's... He's jammed a pump! Temporary setback at best. The reverse switch. I, I've got to find it. I can have this fixed in minutes. He-Man! Your ugly friend sacrificed himself for nothing! No sacrifices for nothing. If it helps other people, Skeletor. And your selfishness will be your own undoing. Feel my my strength returning. You may have stopped me, but you won't get me. Garth, is it really you? It is, friend He-Man. It could take hours to pump all that water back, and there's still one problem: the dam. Thank you, my friend. But what do you suppose transformed you like this? I'm not sure, but I think that this is the form my people will evolve into in centuries to come. The Sea of Eternity is rich in oxygen. Your swim must have speeded up the process. Perhaps. They say its waters have many unusual powers. Those waters will revive the evergreen forest, and Eternia's oxygen will be replenished once more. And that means my people's eggs are about to hatch. I must hurry back to the hive. Come, my friend. We will go together. And the insect people have promised to guard the Sea of Eternity from now on. Then what happened today will never happen again. Hey, everybody. I got my magic back. 
I'm sure you have, Orko. Everything's back to normal. I'll say. Watch this. Mystic powers far and near make the speaker disappear. Funny, it worked perfectly last week. <laughs> yes, things certainly are back to normal around here. Thanks to you, Adam. Don't thank me. Thank Garth, my noble friend. Today we met Garth, who to some people looked like a monster. But Garth wasn't a monster. He was a good person with a noble soul. And in the end, his beauty showed through. Real beauty comes from inside, which is why ugly people can sometimes be the most beautiful people to know, and why people who look beautiful sometimes act very ugly. Being beautiful on the outside is all right, but being beautiful on the inside, that's the best. And the masters of the universe! I am Adam. Prince of Eternia and defender of the secrets of Castle Grayskull. This is Cringer, my fearless friend. Fabulous secret powers were revealed to me the day I held aloft my magic sword and said, By the power of Grayskull! became the mighty battle cat and I became He-Man, the most powerful man in the universe. Only three others share this secret. Our friends, the Sorceress, Man-at-Arms, and Orko. Together we defend Castle Grayskull from the evil forces of Skeletor. There's been no trace of them. Not even a single piece of wood, Your Majesty. It's a real mystery. And now all the other ships are afraid to sail. What do you think about all this, Duncan? Well, sire... <laughs> there have been no storms and... <laughs> considering the area in question... <laughs> Get away from me! What in the name of the ancients? It's your fault. Ha, gotcha! The only thing you've got is trouble. Father, I, 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 was, I was just, um, um... Adam, if you must carry on like a clown, please do it elsewhere. You're interrupting important business. Your Majesty, I'm sure he didn't mean to. No excuses. I'm sure you must have something better to do. Yes, sir. Then do it and let us get on with protecting the kingdom. Man it on. Uh, coming, sire. Don't take it too hard, Adam. These ship disappearances have got him worried. Ships disappearing? Where? I'll tell you later. Just test this. Perfect. The whole ship can now be sailed by remote control. Very impressive. But wouldn't a crew be simpler? With all these disappearances, the kingdom's short of good sailors. We can't afford to lose another crew. All set. 
flash. What is this thing, anyway? Well, I call it a sonoscope. It sends out sound waves which bounce off objects beneath the sea. The objects then show up on the screen, see? And that's a school of fish. Fish? Oh, there's nothing there but little dots. Well, that's just an image, Cringer. It only shows us where the fish are. <laughs> Some invention. Call me when you've got something that catches fish. <laughs> Cringer thinks with his stomach. Mm, so I've noticed. You think whatever's causing ships to vanish comes from below the sea? Yes. And with this ship as bait and my sonoscope, I mean to find out who or what it is. A sea voyage would probably do Cringer and me a lot of good. Sea voyage? Oh, but I get seasick. I was just going to ask you to come, if we can convince the king. Leave that to me. All oh, that water bouncing up and down, up and down. Oh, I think I'm seasick already. Cringer, we're still on the dock. Well, let's keep it that way, shall we? Volunteering to go with man-at-arms does you credit, son. Thank you, Father. But I'm afraid it's much too dangerous. Right, absolutely right. I think a prince should be ready to face danger to protect the kingdom. Wrong, absolutely wrong. Very well said, Adam. All right, you can go. But I want you to be very careful. I will, Father. And thank you. Seeing you take some serious responsibility is thanks enough. Men at arms. Sire. The prince is in your care. Well, what about me? Isn't anybody going to take care of me? I, I may not be a prince, but I'm the prince's best friend. You're also a big coward. That's what I do best. <laughs> What a great trip. See, Cringer? Not as bad as you thought it would be, is it? It's worse. No. Anything yet? Nothing. I don't believe it. What is it? Something big. More than big. Yeah, take a look. Why, it looks almost like... A city. An entire city under the sea. And it's right below us. Something's happening. It's a whirlpool, and it's coming right at us. Get out of there, quick! By the power of Grey Skull! Thanks, He-Man. He -Man. He -Man. Our troubles aren't over. We're about to go for a swim, and I... <laughs> I feel like I swallowed half the Harmony Sea. Well, at least now we know what happened to our ships. Yes, but I wonder where we are. You have come with us, surface dwellers. Hey, man, that symbol. This must be Aquatica. Aquatica? I thought that was just an old legend. A very real legend, it seems. I said come. We'll go peacefully, Cat. 
for now. Look at those gems. The legend said this was a city of great wealth. With this much wealth, why should they attack trading ships? I think we're about to find out. Why do you bring these surface men here? Our ruler has commanded it. Hmm. Who are you? I am He-Man, and I'm here to find out why you've been attacking our ships. It is your people who attack us. We only defend ourselves. Well, that's not true. We've never... You can't fool us. We know the people of the surface can't be trusted. <coughs> our ruler comes. Kneel, surface men. Kneel and bow your head before the ruler of Aquatica. Let's play their game for a minute. Calm down, cat. You'll get your chance. I can't wait. What a pleasant sight. Merman. Welcome to Aquatica, He-Man. I have some great things planned for your visit. <laughs> <laughs> So, it's you who's been sinking the king's ships. Yes, and I plan to keep on doing so until Atelia is mine. I'm afraid we're going to have to change your plans. Without you. And now for you. You're no threat to me, he -Man. Not as long as I hold the pearl of power. <laughs> Can't break free. Your strength is nothing compared to the pearl's magic. Guards, take them to the arena. <laughs> People of Aquatica. Ever since the surface man took away your beloved princess, I've warned you of their evil. Now, proof of that evil stands before us. The men were sent here to attack you, but I, Merman, have stopped him. Fished faced liar, how can they believe him? Look at their faces. Merman must be using that magic pearl to force them to believe him. Soon we shall conquer the world among us. But for now, let us enjoy the defeat of Freeman! Let the normals come forth! What kind of horror is that? Not the hungry kind, I hope. Demon, the tail! It's got me. Have you out of there in a minute? Thanks, Cat. That was close. Look out. It's coming in for another try. The Warmouse will take care of them this time. Enough is enough. Haven't won yet, He Man. Let's get out of here. Don't let them get away. 
captured her and hid her away in the coral caverns. He blamed her disappearance on my people. I'm afraid so. Why didn't you tell your people the truth? We Aquaticans have always mistrusted surface people. That and the magic pearl of power forces us to believe Merman's lies. But you saved us. I know a spell which allows me to resist the pearl's magic. And you are the only one who might defeat the monster which guards my princess. If you will try. We'll try. Thank you. Thank you. You'll have to swim in, but it's not far. Well, swim? Why don't you stay here with Shalandor, Cat? We can handle this without you. Now, if you say so, He-Man. Good luck. <laughs> The princess. I don't see any monster. Maybe Shalandor was wrong. Come on. Who are you? I am He-Man. I'm here to rescue you. But the monster! <laughs> friendly monsters. You have my thanks, surface man. If you really want to thank me, princess, let's get back to Aquatica and surprise Merman. Nothing would please me more. Why has He-Man not been found? Looking for me? No. <laughs> I believe this belongs to you. People of Aquatica, Merman has lied to you. Serve him no longer. The princess, the princess has returned. All hail Princess Nami. I can't rule Aquatica, then I'll destroy it. Merman is getting away. Let's get him, cat. <laughs> By reversing the power of my whirlpool ray, I'll shake the city to pieces! <laughs> Stop that ray now! Great, Ivan! I've destroyed the controls! Aquatica is doomed! <laughs> Keep fish face company, Battle Cat. I've got to do something about that whirlpool. Nice, <laughs> Kitty. 
What's happening? Merman must have used his whirlpool ray. It will destroy the city. I'm afraid not even He-Man can help us now. Only one chance. <laughs> Shalandor! He-Man's trying to move the guardrail. Come on, no. He's doing it! The spin of the rail is working against the whirlpool. Faster. Got to go faster. The guardrail is spinning in the opposite direction, and its force is shattering the whirlpool. He-Man! Are you all right? Just a little bit dizzy. We owe you much, He-Man. My pleasure, Princess. I also owe you an apology. What for? If we had not mistrusted you surface people in the first place, Merman could never have tricked us so easily. Now that you know a little more about us, I hope we can share the ocean in peace. You have my word on that, He-Man. In today's story, the Aquaticans were afraid to trust us because we looked different from them. Merman talked them into thinking we were their enemies, and it almost caused great harm. You should never judge a person by the way he looks, but rather by the way he behaves. Because it's what's inside a person that really counts, right? Porco, you're absolutely right. I always am. <laughs> And the masters of the universe! I am Adam, Prince of Eternia and defender of the secrets of Castle Grayskull. This is Cringer, my fearless friend. Fabulous secret powers were revealed to me the day I held aloft my magic sword and said, By the power of Grayskull! became the mighty Battle Cat, and I became He-Man, the most powerful man in the universe. Only three others share this secret. Our friends, the Sorceress, Man-at-Arms, and Orko. Together, we defend Castle Grayskull from the evil forces of Skeletor. There must be another magician nearby. Forward, Herc. Attack! You are trespassing. What do you want here? A master. What we be wanting, you'll be known soon enough. I'll know now. Monty! You always did know how to make an unusual entrance. Yes, Skeletor, and it's nice to see you again, old friend. It's been... how long? Oh, not, not since we overthrew good King Archibald. That's right! <laughs> <laughs> Too bad you don't have the same luck with He-Man. He-Man is a lucky fool! One day I will destroy him and his friends in the palace. Perhaps I can help. What? You? Along with those ragamuffins you brought with you? <laughs> ragamuffins? The barbarian and the pirate I found on ancient earth. 
but they are only two members in the very special army I have collected from the farthest reaches of space. Hmm. And you say they are special? In what way? Well, at one time or another, each and every one of them was the most powerful, and in some cases, the most evil being in the universe. Really? Hmm. I'm very particular, you know. I'm sure, but can your army of has match my powerful servants? See Eva Lynn, mistress of sorcery. Well, she is satisfactory, I'm sure, but don't you think she looks a little puny next to Blackbeard? A competent sailor, I'm sure. But I have Clawful, my right-hand man. That brute is no match. The mighty Hannibal, who during the Second Punic War astounded the Earthlings when he climbed one of the highest mountain ranges with just a few pacadori. That's elephant in ancient Earth language. Don't you think I know that? There are other space villains, of course. Oro, the traitor of Orion, and Ringus, who enslaved Saturn for all time. <laughs> Even Cygnus, the red demon of Mars, <laughs> left the place in shambles. Hmm, very interesting. But tell me, why are you here? I have heard stories, many tales about this He-Man. They say he is stronger than any living mortal. <laughs> Don't tell me you've come to put him in your army. Exactly. But he will resist. He is not like any of your others. Don't worry about it. B believe me, I have my ways. He will do what I want. Well, take him then. You will be doing me a favor. Not so fast. First, there must be a test. <laughs> if he passes, he will join my hand-picked army and never bother you again. He man will pass any test you give him. We shall see. <laughs> <laughs> After listening to Man at Arms talk about meteors all morning, I'm hungry enough to eat one. Your wish is my command. That's enough, you two. I don't think meteors are part of a proper diet. As you wish, Tila. Hello, who are you? My name is Monty. I come to seek help from He-Man. A, a, a giant is destroying our village and our fields in Polonia. A giant? There has never been a giant in that territory. I'll uh, try to get word to He-Man. Oh, please hurry. We'll get started right now. By the power of Grayskull. <laughs> I heard there's a giant on the loose. Indeed there is. We need your help very badly. All right. Orko, let's go. Me? My giants? The bigger they are, the harder they fall. Well, since you're going, He-Man, I'd better stay and guard the palace. Good idea, Tila. He could show up here. And uh, I understand giants can be pretty dangerous. Well, if he shows up here, he'll be sorry. <laughs> So, Monteek has started a forest fire. He man's test is putting it out. I smell smoke. Look, the forest is on fire. What can we do, He man? He knows what to do. He always knows what to do. It is strange that you are cheering for He-Man. Fool, if he passes the tests, Monty will take him away and we are rid of He-Man forever. We'll land down there. What are you gonna do? Aim the river at that fire. Now there's a neat trick. Fire department to the rescue! No, 
how to put the river back the way nature intended. That was very brave of you, He-Man. Brave, you clod! That was nothing for He-Man. And he's passed the first test. Yes, and he'll pass the rest of them. Monty cannot help but take He-Man for his army. <laughs> I, I think we're being followed. Ice cannonballs. We must have tripped a trap set by the ice trolls. Hang on. We can't shake them, and they're gaining on us. We may have a chance if we can get to the entrance of Needle Mountain before the ice cannonballs hit us. Orko, take the controls. I'll break off a piece of this glacier to block the entrance. Even the weapons of ice trolls can't stop He-Man. Monty cannot help but be impressed. That was remarkable, He-Man. Uh, do, do you know a way out of here? No problem. This is called Needle Mountain because this cave has an entrance at both ends. Like the eye of a needle. I get it. Oh, no. It looks as if the tunnel wants to, to eat us. Wait here, Orko. When I give the word, fly the Wind Raider out of the cave. Be careful, He-Man. <laughs> All right, Orko. Now. Oh, my goodness. That was impressive. Impressive, you boob. It was spectacular. Your army is nothing without him, man. And you are everything without him. <laughs> you are right. Once Monty takes He-Man away, Eternia will be mine for the taking. I don't see the giant anymore. Perhaps he went back to his castle. Be quiet if he's sleeping. Then he's in for a rude awakening. Come on, Orko. <laughs> now to see if Skeletor has been enjoying my little show. <laughs> I've been waiting a long time for this moment. The moment when I am rid of He-Man. You'd think we'd be able to find a big thing like a giant. It seems strange, doesn't it? I can see why. He is everything you said he was. He-Man is more. He will make a fitting general in your army of destruction. Yes, after He-Man is trained, he will be perfect. He-Man may be difficult to train. I've never had a dropout. You know, I don't think there's a giant here anywhere. It looks as if you're right. I wonder what we'll find instead. <laughs> Aye, you'll be finding me, Blackbeard the Pirate. And me, Hannibal, Mighty Warrior. What do you want? Ah, it ain't what we be wanting, matey, but what Mr. Monteague wants. Let's shove off. Sounds like a good idea. Come on, Orko. We'll play their game until we find out what's going on. Wrong way! No, it be the right way to walk the plank. <laughs> what does Montague want me for? He wants to train you as one of his soldiers. Soldiers? Aye, the ones already trained be locked away safe and proper like under the dome until Montague lets them go or the dome is destroyed. We are going to help him conquer the universe. As you will, He-Man. 
Now walk the plank. Monteague wants you safe in the pit till training begins. Too bad there's no swimming pool. In us there! Sorry, gentlemen, I guess there won't be any training. Come on, Orko. We have to destroy that dome. You see, Monteague, E-Man is not so easily captured. He is magnificent. I see that I will have to catch him myself. Monteague. Going somewhere? He-Man? <laughs> This door is the pushy type. Back to Blackbeard's pit. I must get away before Monteague tries to make me one of his puppets. Ah, hi there, matey. You might as well put down the sword. The walls are magic granite. You can hack at them all you like, but new rock will appear in the places you cut away. Well, that's even better. I only hope that I have time to make enough gravel. <laughs> Hey, he be wasting his energy. I hope that's high enough for me to reach the top of the trench. He-Man! <laughs> Uh-oh, more trouble. Fire away, Mickey's! Hit him amidship! Hey! I'm free! Thanks, Montague. Ah, I'll stop him. Look out below! <laughs> That ought to hold him. But not for long. I've got to get to the dome and destroy it. Now, Herc, fall out! Forward, Herc! Push it over! The elephant's victory trumpet! They'll be out here soon! Wrong, Orko. They're here now. See if I can keep that elephant busy. Climbing that tree should let me get closer to the castle's roof. Can't see He Man. The leaves are too thick. I wonder if I can charm it like a snake. I guess he doesn't like music. Who's that knocking? Just that elephant butting in again. Stay here, Orko. I'll see if I can lead him away before he hurts his head. Made it. Now the climb to the roof. What's going on here? He-Man! I feel
feel like a fly on a wall. Get him, you fools! And here come the fly swatters. You are a menace, little one. It, it's a good thing he man is almost at the top. I don't know how much longer I can dance. Stop him. He's going to free my soldiers. Or dome, or what's left of it. Monteith no longer controls anybody. Skinnator, losing my army with all you're doing. Your idea of capturing He-Man was ridiculous to begin with. Well, if you hadn't been so eager to get rid of him... Skeletor! Skeletor! Uh, hi, He-Man. Come down here, will you? Earth will bring you back to Earth, He-Man. Gently, Herc. Gently. Thanks. I didn't look forward to climbing down that wall. Ah, thank you, He-Man. Hannibal and I and all the rest of us, we be owing you a great debt. He's right. Now we can go to our proper rest. Speaking of rest, I hope we don't have to fight a giant now. I'm too tired. I don't know. After what we've just been through, I'd find fighting a giant kind of relaxing. Maybe so. Should we, uh, look for one? Nope, that's all right. I wouldn't want to miss Man-at-Arms next history lesson. Studying about Hannibal and Blackbeard is one thing, but now that I've met him, well, that's another thing. Gee, I wish I'd gotten their autographs. Orko certainly had an exciting lesson in history today. Of course, chances are most of you won't have the same opportunity to meet any of those famous people who lived long ago, but even so, remember that just like you, they were very real. For the most part, the people we read about in history books led pretty exciting lives. And that's why to me, history is like, well, it's like a great adventure story. And the best part is that it really happened. Well, see you soon. <laughs> <laughs>